Jocko from Mighty Tiger Outdoors and uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different that we haven't done before. Today's going to be the first episode of Cooking with Mighty Tiger Outdoors. No, I'm joking. It's not. Uh, today what we're going to do is we managed to get uh, a few pine needles from uh, our walk with uh, Casey uh, this evening. So I thought might as, well, might as well just get a handful and make some pine needle tea. We've never done that before. I've uh, always been curious about it, see what it tastes like and what it does to you. So we're going to try the uh, Optimus Crux today and we're going to use that for the tea. So let's take it out of the pouch. And then we just kind of screw it onto the canister. Nice and secure. Now the reason why I'm uh, going to be using the uh, uh, Optimus Crux uh, stove is just because um, I haven't had a chance to actually boil water while using the stove and the canister combo and also because I think it's cool so you get to do that alright now uh, for this I guess I'm going to use about two cups of water which is uh, 16 ounces just enough for uh, me and Laurel to try it so let's, uh, let's get some water alright so I already put one cup of water two cups of water and I still have the um, pine needles in my pocket from our walk so let me get those out and I hope these are good I hope uh, I hope we don't get sick or anything so just a handful and we're gonna put them right there maybe press them in make sure most of it is touching the water Here we go. And we're going to set the um, stopwatch, see how long it takes to boil. Alright guys, so um, like a total loser, we pretty much set off the fire alarm, so we're going to try it again, this time outside in the balcony. So, let's, uh, let's start over. Alright guys, so it's pretty much... Uh, pretty much been about a minute and 50 seconds and we already have a boil. There it is in the stopwatch. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. So let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, definitely a pretty, pretty good boil. Alright guys, so we're back indoors. Hopefully this time we won't set any, uh, set off any alarms. And uh, basically we're just going to let this uh, steep for a little bit. Um, quite hot so it's gonna sit there for a little bit and uh, keep brewing and uh, we'll try it out alright guys and while um, the tea is just kind of doing its thing uh, Laurel collected a few pine cones out there from another uh, of our walks a few days ago so they've been kind of sitting there seeing if they would open up so we pretty much got a couple of these um, pine seeds pine nuts. or pine nuts I like two pine cones. Got six. Tastes good. Very mild flavor. How many did we get? Six. Out of two pine cones. Out of two pine cones, only six edible seeds. So I think we got them a little too late. Starchy. Yeah. All right. That's what the tea looks like. All right, so we've got the two cups here. We're gonna go ahead and pour the tea. And the nice thing about the Optimus Crux is it's got this little pour spout. So it smells piney. Yeah, it smells. It smells piney. Alright guys, so here we go, pine needle tea. 
for the first time there's a little bit of cloudiness which I think it's normal and uh, hopefully we'll be okay so let's give it a try. Oil. Very mild flavor. You can almost you can almost not taste it. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, we read that it has a lot more vitamin C than a lemon or a lime, and it has a lot of uh, vitamin A. So it's definitely a good thing. Uh, we'll keep experimenting. Maybe maybe there's a a lot of uh, more different uh, ways and techniques to give it a lot more flavor, but. As far as this one being the first time, it's not too bad at all. Alright guys, well thanks for watching again. Um, I'm going to go and finish this up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, you guys take care.